What's up, guys? Welcome to the Live Composing Show. This is your host, Stephen Malin. Welcome back to another day of 10 minutes of pure anxiety. <laughs> so if this is your first time joining us today, we are knocking out day three of a five-day challenge. It's the NES challenge, where I'm writing an NES piece of music in five 10-minute sittings. And it's bonkers. And I didn't think it would be this mentally exhausting because after all, it's just 10 minutes, right? Wrong. It is 10 minutes of painful anxiety, which feels like 72 hours. It's insane. Um, and you, But you know what's really crazy is I've only worked on this track two days now. Just day one, if you kind of review, day one, I just slapped some ideas and then the time ran out. Day two, I spent like eight of the 10 minutes quantizing just to clean up the mess that was there to actually make some kind of sense of it. And I used a couple minutes to slap on some new ideas. And so here we are on day three starting off. And what's really wild is even though like the melody and the, the riff on this piece of music is very simple and it was very uh, spontaneous just kind of throwing something out there. What's crazy is over the last two days, all of the time I've spent away from the computer, I'm talking like walking outside, playing with my kids, going to bed, whatever, like this little tune's been stuck in my head and my brain's actually been composing in all of the off hours. So now, even though I have no idea what I'm going to do with the piece of music today in 10 minutes, it's almost as if my brain has already solved the problem and I have a crazy amount of confidence even though I don't know what I'm going to do. So there is a lesson here about working for a set amount of time with extreme focus, stepping away, and then coming back. And something about that rest period, so much happens in our brains uh, subconsciously, which I think is absolutely awesome. So... Today, we're knocking out day three, and let's just start off by playing what we have so far, and you will notice that every day this week, I'm trying to make at least one visual upgrade to my live setup um, in preparation for future live composing shows. As you know, I moved into a new studio space, which is super exciting, um, and it's also overwhelming, so I'm trying to do this in bite-sized chunks and just like knock out a little bit every single day. Um, so the set's going to look a little bit different, and I want to. I'm curious 
if you guys notice what behind me has changed because it's going to keep changing every day in little subtle ways. Um, but if someone in the chat can, can point it out, I think it'd be fun. Um, so let's listen to what we have so far. Over here. That way we know what we're jumping into today. Okay, so already I have a thousand things I want to do with this track and so limited time to do it. So let's throw 10 minutes up on the clock. Man, I hate this. <laughs> I know I write fast, but this is nuts. This is, this is a whole other level of speed and having to focus. So I'm glad that you can all just uh, be in pain with me as I tackle this this week. And I've challenged the other members of the Video Game Music Alliance to try this as well. I'm super curious to hear what the results are and if any kind of quality music actually comes out of this. Or perhaps we all just have learned our lesson that it's not smart to write music this fast. <laughs> but at any rate, let's finish the darn challenge. This is day three. Here we go. Ready, set, boom. Ah! Okay, so the first thing I hear... Um, are these our little arpeggio notes at the end? These need a different kind of quantizing. They need sixteenth note uh, ends, and the lengths need to be fixed. There. Cool. And the other thing is this little modulation doodad at the end it sounds really stupid. It's either the mod, no, it's the uh, pitch bend. Pitch, 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 pitch. Um, here's what it looks like, this crazy little thing. I don't think it's a good one. I don't think it's a good use of a pitch bend. Let me try something else. So in order to do that, I have to go to my triangle and record. Maybe I can input that fast enough without having to do it manually. Pretty cool. So it needs to dance. So I kind of like it just, I don't know, just like that. All I want is one octave. I don't need two octaves. Maybe one, two, three, four. Like that. It'd be kind of cool. So let's move it. One, two, three, four. Boom. And it goes right back. Let's start it right on beat one. Oh, the anxiety of time. I hate clocks. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It just needs to be all the way down. Cool. That solved the problem. Now, let's keep it rolling. Uh, my little noise doodads were not accurate. like some of these got off so I'm literally going to copy and paste just to be sure this guy needs a little bit of cleanup as well This is literally a copy, so let's copy the first one to save time. Also, I 
identical, the first half. That's it. It sounds like a Kingdom Hearts kind of battle if I did it in a marimba. That'd be kind of cool. <clears throat> This desperately needs um, a pitch bend as well, so let's try putting it in. Oh, I did it in the wrong voice, but that was kind of cool. Um, cool, I'll just do a pitch bend down. That's kind of cool. Let's leave that alone. All right, moving on. I feel like this little melody needs on the second repetition to be doubled. So let's just copy it like this, copy the MIDI, and then throw it into a different pulse. Up an octave. Maybe turn down the volume. And in an upper octave, again, different pulse. Really give it some punch. We do opposite pitch bends. <laughs> That's a little. That's fun. Bass was doing. Oh, I don't know. Siphon that. Oh. Uh, let's take the whole thing. And then just like start popping it into all the different octaves. So don't make more material, just reuse what I already have. How much time I have left? Four minutes and change, yeah. Doing all the blank space. Let's use our same trick from earlier. These are all 16th notes, but let's not do just do quantize. We're going to do the links and in, so that way they're all the same. Mistake. pop the bass into a different instrument. Let's experiment since we have a couple minutes to spare. Let's uh, mute that. Production wise, like we're we're using orchestration now.
voice in NES music. That's my 10 minutes. Oh my gosh. That's ridiculous. <coughs> I can't even touch it. I just have to leave it. Oh my gosh. <coughs> that was fun. Okay, this is really turning to something exciting now. Um, and it's inspiring because, isn't it wild? I'm, I'm blowing myself away. Not Because the concept of revisiting something multiple times it's like our brain just solves it when we're not even in front of the screen. And it's not that I'm like, there was no point in the last two days where I sat down away from the computer outside of our 10 minutes together and I said, you know what, I wonder what would really sound good in that moment. No, it's just like I heard some of these little ideas and they're just like tucked away, filed away in the subconscious that when I revisit it, it just comes out. And I didn't have any of these ideas the last two days and now I'm really excited that I get two more days. Like, it's already almost done. Um, it, so I have two more days to start to experiment. So you see what's happening here is today, because I got all the, the framework out of the way, today I got to work more on the orchestration arrangement uh, production side and actually got to start doubling things, playing around with which instrument sounded the best. I do air quotes because they're pulse waves, right? They're all waves of some sort, pulse waves and triangle waves. But... This is actually starting to sound pretty cool. Um, it looks like tomorrow I'll need to fill in some of this C section. I mean, you could really just call that a C. I don't know why I'm doing an ABC form in like a one minute track, but whatever, it's fine. Um, this little C section just needs some love in the, um, in the noise channel. There's currently nothing there. And I would, I would be cheating if I tried to fill it in real quick right now, but that's just something I'll keep in mind for tomorrow. Um, and obviously this new stuff needs to be quantized or at least cleaned up in some way for it to fit. But one of the cool things about a channel, I can show you this much. So if I, if I play, if I open up the, the plugin, this is Plogue Chip Sounds. It emulates the authentic NES chip because it's monophonic. So it doesn't let you play more than one note. Do, it's just going to try to guess what the priority is, right? And what's neat about that is notice that in this track, I actually played on top of myself. I duplicated this region up here, and that's why it has the hash lines, because it's trying to merge two different ideas together. But what happens is because I'm playing two different ideas at the same time, it actually has that NES um, priority baked in where it's trying to play um, this crazy ARP that I was playing. Which is fine if that's all I'm playing. It's also trying to play the um, that thing. It's like so it's like constantly fighting and I love that sound and you can't get that unless you really stick to the limitations of the system. And it kind of works. Maybe I'll keep it, maybe I won't, but I, I'm not allowed to, to do any more, so I have to stop. Um, but without further ado, let's play what we have so far. This is day three, work in progress, and I have two more days to work on this, so I'm excited to do that. Uh, thanks, guys, for hanging out. I'm going to play out uh, the final work in progress, and I will see you again tomorrow for day four. So have a fabulous Wednesday. Take care.